Hello, my beloved child. I'm Jesus, your Savior. Here is a message from God to you. Don't close this video without listening because it's for you. In fact, if you love God and His Son, Jesus Christ, watch this video until the end and don't forget to click subscribe, like, and comment on this video. God bless you. I love you, my sons. I love you, my daughters. Now we can hear the message from God. Thank you. This premise underscores the enduring nature of God's love and His commitment to peace with His people. It reassures believers that His promises remain unbroken, no matter the changes in the world. This promise encourages them to stand firm in their relationship with God, fostering a spirit of confidence and peace. It invites them to embrace His everlasting covenant, knowing that His love and commitment to them are immovable. The Spirit helps us in our weakness, we do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself and her Sadies for us through wordless groans. This premise reveals the compassionate intercession of the Holy Spirit, who aids believers in their moments of weakness. It reassures them that even when they lack words, the Spirit understands and prays on their behalf. This promise encourages them to lean on the Spirit's guidance, fostering a spirit of trust and surrender. It invites them to rest in the Spirit's support, knowing that their deepest needs are being lifted before God in prayer, even in silence. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. This premise highlights the guidance and clarity provided by God's word. It reassures believers that the scriptures illuminate the way forward, offering wisdom and direction. This promise encourages them to turn to God's word for insight, fostering a spirit of reliance and attentiveness. It invites them to walk in the light of His truth, knowing that His guidance is ever-present to lead them through every step of their journey. In all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. This premise affirms that God is actively involved in the lives of His people, orchestrating events for their benefit. It reassures believers that even in difficult situations, God is working for their good. This promise encourages them to trust in God's purpose, fostering a spirit of hope and resilience. It invites them to embrace the journey, knowing that God is weaving together every moment for good and loving purpose in their lives. Those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. This premise emphasizes the renewed strength that comes from trusting in God. It reassures believers that as they place their faith in Him, they will rise above weariness and gain the ability to overcome. This promise encourages them to remain hopeful, fostering a spirit of perseverance and vitality. It invites them to experience the refreshing strength that God provides, knowing that with Him, they can soar above challenges like eagles on wings. The peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. This premise speaks of the supernatural peace that God provides, a peace beyond human comprehension. It reassures believers that God's peace protects them from anxiety and distress. This promise encourages them to rest in God's calm, fostering a spirit of tranquility and confidence. It invites them to embrace His peace in all situations, knowing that it guards their hearts and minds keeping them steady and secure in Christ. God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. This premise highlights God's generosity and His provision for all aspects of life. It reassures believers that they will have everything necessary to fulfill His purposes. This promise encourages them to trust in God's abundant blessings, fostering a spirit of generosity and purpose. It invites them to embrace His provision, knowing that He equips them to do every good work that He calls them to accomplish. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all He has made. This premise underscores God's goodness and compassion for all His creation. It reassures believers that God's kindness extends to every living being. This promise encourages them to approach God with confidence, fostering a spirit of reverence and gratitude. It invites them to rest in His goodness, 
knowing that his love and compassion are lavished upon them as his beloved creation. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. This premise reveals the eternal and unchanging nature of Jesus, who exists from eternity to eternity. It reassures believers that their faith is grounded in the one who transcends time. This promise encourages them to trust in Jesus as their ultimate foundation, fostering a spirit of awe and reverence. It invites them to rest in his sovereignty, knowing that he is the beginning and the end, the one who holds all things together. The Lord your God is a consuming fire, a jealous God. This premise reflects God's passionate love for his people, a love that seeks exclusive devotion, it reassures believers that God is deeply invested in their relationship, desiring their wholehearted commitment. This promise encourages them to remain faithful to Him, fostering a spirit of dedication and reverence. It invites them to honor their covenant with God, knowing that His love burns intensely and that He treasures them as His own. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. This premise speaks of God's readiness to defend and protect his people in times of struggle. It reassures believers that they need not rely on their own strength but can rest in his power. This promise encourages them to find peace in God's intervention, fostering a spirit of calm and reliance. It invites them to stand still and trust, knowing that God is actively fighting on their behalf, working out victory and deliverance. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. This premise declares the unbreakable bond between God and his people, a love that cannot be diminished by any force. It reassures believers that nothing can sever their connection to God's love. This promise encourages them to hold on to this truth, fostering a spirit of security and joy. It invites them to live confidently in the knowledge that God's love is eternal and unyielding, a love that encompasses and sustains them through all things. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. This premise emphasizes the importance of prioritizing God's kingdom above all else, with the assurance that he will but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. This premise highlights the foundational priority of seeking God's kingdom and living a life that aligns with his righteousness. It reassures believers that when they place God at the center of their lives, their needs will be met. This promise encourages them to focus on spiritual growth and obedience fostering a spirit of devotion and surrender. It invites them to put God's purposes above all, knowing that in doing so, every other aspect of their lives will fall into place under his faithful provision. The Lord is close to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. This premise emphasizes God's nearness to those who earnestly seek him. It reassures believers that God is attentive and responsive when they come to him with sincerity. This promise encourages them to reach out to God with an open heart, fostering a spirit of honesty and intimacy in their relationship with Him. It invites them to draw near and experience His closeness, knowing that He hears and is moved by their genuine calls for help and communion. God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. This premise reveals the value God places on humility, showing that He draws close to those with a humble heart. It reassures believers that a posture of humility attracts God's grace and favor. This promise encourages them to cultivate humility, fostering a spirit of selflessness and gentleness. It invites them to lower themselves before God, knowing that in humility, they find His abundant favor, wisdom, and blessings. They who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint. This premise underscores the power of waiting on God and drawing strength from Him. It reassures believers that when they trust and wait upon the Lord, they receive renewed energy and resilience. This promise encourages them to be patient in seasons of waiting, fostering a spirit of endurance and faith. It invites them to embrace the waiting process, 
knowing that God will strengthen them to rise above challenges and carry on without growing weary. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. This premise affirms God's active hand in every aspect of a believer's life, assuring them that all things contribute to their ultimate good. It reassures believers that God's purpose is woven into every experience, even the painful ones. This promise encourages them to trust in this plan, fostering a spirit of hope and perseverance. It invites them to rest in the knowledge that God's providence oversees their lives, shaping everything for their growth and benefit in His divine purpose. The Lord gives strength to His people. The Lord blesses His people with peace. This premise highlights God's gifts of strength and peace to his people. It reassures believers that God is both their source of inner fortitude and their provider of deep tranquility. This promise encourages them to draw from God's strength in times of need, fostering a spirit of calm assurance and resilience. It invites them to find rest and courage in his peace, knowing that he equips them to face all circumstances with confidence and grace. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the humble with victory. This premise reflects God's joy and favor toward his people, particularly those with humble hearts. It reassures believers that God not only accepts them but delights in them, granting them victory and humility. This promise encourages them to live humbly, fostering a spirit of gratitude and dedication. It invites them to embrace God's delight in them knowing that he celebrates their victories and blesses their lives in the quiet strength of humility. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. This premise reveals God's intentional, loving plans for each believer's life. It reassures them that God's design for their lives is filled with goodness, hope, and purpose. This promise encourages them to trust in his guidance, fostering a spirit of optimism and faith. It invites them to lean into his vision for their future, knowing that his plans are ultimately for their benefit and blessing, with no intention of harm. Even to your old age and gray hairs I am he. I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and I will carry you. I will sustain you and I will rescue you. This premise emphasizes God's lifelong commitment to his people, from youth to old age. It reassures believers that God's support never wavers and that he will carry them through every season of life. This promise encourages them to trust in his sustaining presence, fostering a spirit of reliance and gratitude. It invites them to rest in his faithful care, knowing that he upholds them with strength and compassion throughout their entire lives. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. This premise calls believers to live with courage and resilience, underpinned by the assurance of God's constant presence. It reassures them that God's companionship is a source of strength in all circumstances. This promise encourages them to face each challenge with boldness, fostering a spirit of bravery and determination. It invites them to walk confidently, knowing that God's presence accompanies them on every journey and through every trial. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. This premise portrays God as a caring shepherd who provides abundantly for his people. It reassures believers that they lack nothing when they are under his guidance. This promise encourages them to rely on God's provision, fostering a spirit of contentment and gratitude. It invites them to rest in his care, knowing that as their shepherd, he meets all their needs and leads them beside still waters. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. This premise emphasizes the importance of wholehearted devotion in seeking God. It reassures believers that their search for God will always be fruitful when they approach him sincerely. This promise encourages them to pursue God with all they are, fostering a spirit of commitment and passion. It invites them to find the richness of his presence, knowing that God reveals himself to those who seek him fully. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. This premise highlights God's grace as an unending source of strength, especially in times of weakness. 
It reassures believers that their limitations are met by God's all-encompassing power. This promise encourages them to embrace their weaknesses, fostering a spirit of humility and reliance. It invites them to experience God's strength, knowing that His grace empowers them even when they feel inadequate. If God is for us, who can be against us? This premise asserts the supreme power of God's favor and protection over His people. It reassures believers that nothing can stand against them when God is on their side. This promise encourages them to walk in confidence, fostering a spirit of fearlessness and victory. It invites them to face every adversary with bold faith, knowing that God's support makes them unconquerable. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. This premise reminds believers of God's infinite wisdom and perspective, which surpasses human understanding. It reassures them that God's ways, though sometimes mysterious, are always perfect. This promise encourages them to trust in His higher wisdom, fostering a spirit of surrender and reverence. It invites them to rest in God's sovereignty, knowing that His plans are far greater than anything they could imagine. The Lord is near to all who have a broken heart, and saves such as have a contrite spirit. This premise speaks of God's tender care for the brokenhearted and humble. It reassures believers that God draws especially close to those in pain, offering comfort and salvation. This promise encourages them to approach Him in their brokenness, fostering a spirit of honesty and healing. It invites them to find solace in God's compassionate presence knowing that he mends their broken hearts and lifts their spirits. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. This premise assures believers of God's protection against any form of attack or harm. It reassures them that while they may face adversity, it will not ultimately succeed against them. This promise encourages them to stand strong, fostering a spirit of resilience and trust. It invites them to walk confidently knowing that God's protection shields them from every scheme and threat. The name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. This premise portrays the Lord's name as a powerful source of refuge. It reassures believers that they can find security in God's character and promises. This promise encourages them to call on His name in times of trouble, fostering a spirit of trust and courage. It invites them to take shelter in God's strength, knowing that His name alone is a tower of safety and deliverance. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me you can do nothing. This premise emphasizes the necessity of abiding in Christ to experience a fruitful life. It reassures believers that spiritual productivity comes from staying connected to Jesus. This promise encourages them to maintain closeness to Him, fostering a spirit of dependence and growth. It invites them to live in His presence, knowing that as they remain in Him, they are empowered to bear lasting fruit. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me you can do nothing. This premise underscores the vital connection between Jesus and His followers. It reassures believers that their strength and purpose come from an intimate relationship with Him. This promise encourages them to cultivate their relationship with Jesus, fostering a spirit of devotion and reliance. It invites them to stay rooted in Him, knowing that true productivity, joy, and spiritual growth come from this connection, and without it, they can achieve nothing of lasting value. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. This premise acknowledges the reality of challenges and suffering in life, while offering profound hope. It reassures believers that, despite the world's troubles, Jesus has already secured victory. This promise encourages them to find peace in His triumph, fostering a spirit of resilience and courage. It invites them to hold on to this victory knowing that with Jesus, they can face any hardship, for He has overcome all that they might fear. Come to me, all you who are weary, and burdened, and I will give you rest. 
This premise offers comfort and refuge for those overwhelmed by life's burdens. It reassures believers that Jesus invites them to bring their struggles to him, where they will find true rest. This promise encourages them to lay down their anxieties and exhaustion, fostering a spirit of trust and surrender. It invites them to experience his peace and refreshment, knowing that in his presence, they find relief and renewal beyond what the world can give. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This premise reflects the gentle and understanding nature of Jesus, who does not impose heavy demands but offers a life-giving path. It reassures believers that following him brings relief, not strain. This promise encourages them to embrace his way, fostering a spirit of humility and willingness. It invites them to rest in the simplicity and freedom of his teachings, knowing that his guidance lifts them rather than weighs them down. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. This premise reveals the unique value and purpose God has placed within each believer. It reassures them that they are intentionally crafted by God for meaningful work. This promise encourages them to embrace their identity as God's creation, fostering a spirit of purpose and gratitude. It invites them to live out the good works he prepared for them, knowing that their lives have eternal significance in his design. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? This premise celebrates the strength and security found in God. It reassures believers that with God as their light and salvation, fear has no hold over them. This promise encourages them to stand in courage, fostering a spirit of boldness and trust. It invites them to walk without fear, knowing that God illuminates their path and protects them from all harm. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. This premise highlights the endless nature of God's love and mercy. It reassures believers that each day, they are met with fresh grace and compassion from God. This promise encourages them to start each day with hope, fostering a spirit of gratitude and renewal. It invites them to embrace the consistency of God's love, knowing that no matter what happened yesterday, his mercies are always there to renew and sustain them. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. This premise provides assurance of freedom from guilt and shame for those who belong to Christ. It reassures believers that they are fully forgiven and accepted by God. This promise encourages them to live without the weight of past mistakes, fostering a spirit of liberation and confidence. It invites them to walk in the joy of their redemption, knowing that they are no longer under judgment but are embraced by God's grace. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. This premise speaks to God's faithfulness in times of temptation. It reassures believers that he limits their struggles to what they can handle and provides a means of escape. This promise encourages them to trust in God's provision, fostering a spirit of vigilance and resilience. It invites them to rely on his help during trials knowing that he equips them to stand firm and overcome every temptation they face. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. This premise reveals God's compassionate care for those in pain. It reassures believers that God is near to comfort and restore their hearts. This promise encourages them to bring their hurts to him, fostering a spirit of openness and healing. It invites them to experience God's gentle touch, knowing that he mends their wounds and brings wholeness to their broken places. I will never leave you nor forsake you. This premise affirms God's unwavering presence in the lives of his people. It reassures believers that they are never alone, no matter what circumstances they face. This promise encourages them to rely on God's constant companionship, fostering a spirit of courage and security. It invites them to trust that God is with them through every high and low, never abandoning them. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. This premise offers a path to deep, lasting peace through unwavering trust in God. 
It reassures believers that stability of mind and heart is found by focusing on him. This promise encourages them to cultivate a steadfast mind, fostering a spirit of tranquility and faithfulness. It invites them to rest in God's perfect peace, knowing that it anchors them in every storm and keeps them calm amidst life's uncertainties. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. This premise highlights the joy and salvation found in God. It reassures believers that he is both their strength and reason to sing. This promise encourages them to celebrate his saving grace, fostering a spirit of worship and gratitude. It invites them to live in the joy of his salvation, knowing that he is their strength and weakness and the melody of their hearts. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. This premise invites believers to release their worries to God, who is deeply concerned for them. It reassures them that God's care extends to their every anxiety. This promise encourages them to trust in his compassionate concern, fostering a spirit of peace and surrender. It invites them to hand over their burdens, knowing that God's care is a safe and reliable place for all their fears and uncertainties. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exult over you with loud singing. This premise paints a picture of God's joyous love for his people. It reassures believers that God celebrates and cares for them with deep affection. This promise encourages them to feel cherished by God, fostering a spirit of joy and acceptance. It invites them to find comfort in his presence knowing that he delights in them and quiets their fears with his powerful love. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. This premise speaks to Jesus as the ultimate fulfillment of all spiritual hunger and thirst. It reassures believers that in him, they will find complete satisfaction. This promise encourages them to seek Jesus as their source, fostering a spirit of contentment and reliance. It invites them to come to him with their deepest needs, knowing that in his presence, they are nourished and fulfilled in ways the world cannot offer. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. This premise offers hope to those who grieve, assuring them of divine comfort. It reassures believers that their sorrow will be met with God's tender care. This promise encourages them to be honest about their pain, fostering a spirit of vulnerability and openness. It invites them to receive God's comforting presence, knowing that he sees their tears and draws close to them in times of loss. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. This premise emphasizes Jesus' enduring presence with his followers until the end of time. It reassures believers that they will never walk alone, no matter where life leads. This promise encourages them to feel secure in his companionship, fostering a spirit of courage and peace. It invites them to journey with confidence, knowing that Jesus is with them through every chapter of life and beyond. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. This premise underscores the impact of sincere prayer. It reassures believers that their prayers hold weight and bring about real change. This promise encourages them to approach prayer with faith, fostering a spirit of expectation and persistence. It invites them to pray boldly, knowing that their words are heard by a powerful God who delights in answering them. Whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. This promise speaks to the lasting fulfillment found in Jesus. It reassures believers that his life-giving water quenches every spiritual thirst. This promise encourages them to draw from him continuously, fostering a spirit of refreshment and vitality. Whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. This premise emphasizes the eternal satisfaction found in Jesus who offers a source of spiritual life that never runs dry. It reassures believers that by coming to him, their deepest needs will be met in a way that endures forever. 
This promise encourages them to trust in Jesus as the source of all true fulfillment, fostering a spirit of reliance and renewal. It invites them to continually draw from his life-giving presence, knowing that this water becomes a wellspring within, constantly refreshing and sustaining them with hope, joy, and purpose. The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. This premise assures believers of God's goodness and protection in times of hardship. It reassures them that when they trust in him, he becomes their safe haven, shielding them from life's storms. This promise encourages them to place their trust fully in his care, fostering a spirit of security and confidence. It invites them to take refuge in God's goodness, knowing that he watches over them with compassion and commitment, regardless of the circumstances surrounding them. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their prayer. This premise speaks to God's attentive love for those who seek to follow him. It reassures believers that their prayers do not go unnoticed, as God is continually watching over them with love and care. This promise encourages them to live righteously, knowing their connection to God is personal and responsive. It invites them to approach God with confidence, assured that he's not only aware of their needs but is actively listening to their prayers and intervening in their lives. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not be faint. This premise is a call to steadfast hope in God, assuring believers of renewed strength and perseverance. It reassures them that as they wait upon the Lord, he empowers them to rise above every challenge. This promise encourages them to cultivate patience and trust, fostering a spirit of resilience and fortitude. It invites them to experience God's empowering strength, knowing that he sustains them so they can face life's demands without exhaustion or despair. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. This promise offers peace to those facing battles, physical or spiritual, assuring them that God himself will defend and protect them. It reassures believers that they do not have to bear the burden of fighting alone. Instead, they can rest in his might. This promise encourages them to release control and trust God's intervention, fostering a spirit of calmness and trust. It invites them to experience the power of stillness in his presence knowing that God takes up their cause with unmatched strength and commitment. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge. This premise highlights God as a steadfast protector and savior. It reassures believers that he is a solid foundation, unshakable and secure, where they can find safety and support. This promise encourages them to place their trust in God's stability fostering a spirit of unwavering faith and confidence. It invites them to rely on him as their fortress, knowing that no matter the storms they face, they are safe in his stronghold. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. This premise reveals God's heart for those who feel drained or powerless, offering them strength that goes beyond their limitations. It reassures believers that God's power is made available in their times of greatest need. This promise encourages them to lean on him in their weakness, fostering a spirit of humility and dependence. It invites them to receive his strength, knowing that when they reach the end of their own abilities, God's power becomes their source of endurance. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This premise speaks directly to those feeling anxious or afraid, assuring them of God's sustaining presence. It reassures believers that God is their protector and helper, never leaving their side. This promise encourages them to stand firm in faith, fostering a spirit of bravery and reassurance. It invites them to let go of fear, knowing that God holds them securely with his strength and righteousness, supporting them through every challenge. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. This premise portrays God as a place of refuge, where believers can find safety and peace in times of distress. 
It reassures them that he shields them from harm and celebrates their freedom with songs of victory. This promise encourages them to find solace in his presence, fostering a spirit of trust and joy. It invites them to rest in God as their shelter, knowing that he surrounds them with his protection and deliverance. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. This premise provides comfort for those facing difficult or frightening times, emphasizing God's presence as a source of courage. It reassures believers that they are not alone in their darkest moments, as God walks alongside them. This promise encourages them to lean on God's guidance and care, fostering a spirit of courage and calm. It invites them to face life's valleys without fear, knowing that His protective presence is with them, bringing comfort and direction. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. This premise assures believers of God's active role in their battles, whether internal or external. It reassures them that they are not alone in facing opposition, for God himself fights on their behalf. This promise encourages them to step forward with confidence, fostering a spirit of strength and assurance. It invites them to trust in God's power, knowing that he secures victory for them and is committed to their triumph. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. This blessing promises God's favor, grace, and peace to those who seek him. It reassures believers that God's presence brings light, kindness, and tranquility into their lives. This promise encourages them to seek God's face continually, fostering a spirit of peace and gratitude. It invites them to live in the assurance of his blessing, knowing that his gracious attention brings deep and abiding peace. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. This premise calls for steadfastness and faith, reminding believers that God's promises are sure. It reassures them that they can cling to their hope, as God is trustworthy. This promise encourages them to stand firm in their beliefs, fostering a spirit of resilience and loyalty. It invites them to trust unwaveringly in God's word, knowing that his faithfulness is the anchor of their hope, unchanging and reliable. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. This premise speaks of transformation through a relationship with Christ, assuring believers of a new identity. It reassures them that in Jesus, their past does not define them, they are made new. This promise encourages them to embrace their renewed life, fostering a spirit of hope and joy. It invites them to live out their new identity, knowing that in Christ, they are continually being transformed and equipped for a purposeful future. Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you. Your right hand upholds me. This premise illustrates a close, protective relationship with God, where he is both a shelter and a support. It reassures believers that they are held and sustained by God's strength. This promise encourages them to draw near to him in times of need, fostering a spirit of intimacy and trust. It invites them to rest under the protection of his wings, knowing that his support is constant, lifting them up in every situation. We love because he first loved us. This premise reflects the origin of love showing that God's love is the foundation and inspiration for believers' love for others. It reassures them that they are deeply loved by God, which empowers them to love others freely. This promise encourages them to reflect God's love in their interactions, fostering a spirit of kindness and compassion. It invites them to live in the fullness of God's love, knowing that it is His love that flows through them, reaching and impacting others and God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. This premise assures believers that God is aware of their needs and will provide abundantly. It reassures them that their needs are met by his limitless resources, not their own. This promise encourages them to trust in God's provision, fostering a spirit of contentment and confidence. It invites them to rely on him, 
knowing that he provides everything they require out of his glorious riches in Jesus. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. This premise highlights the unique peace Jesus offers, distinct from anything the world can give. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. This premise highlights the unique peace that Jesus offers, which surpasses worldly peace. It reassures believers that his peace is profound and transformative, providing a sense of calm amid chaos. This promise encourages them to reject fear and anxiety, fostering a spirit of tranquility and faith. It invites them to embrace the peace that comes from knowing Jesus, understanding that his presence calms their hearts and minds, allowing them to face life's challenges with confidence. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. This premise emphasizes the empowerment believers receive from Christ. It reassures them that, through their relationship with him, they can overcome any obstacle. This promise encourages them to rely on his strength, fostering a spirit of determination and perseverance. It invites them to tackle challenges with confidence, knowing that Jesus equips them for every task, enabling them to achieve what might seem impossible on their own. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. This premise speaks to God's sovereignty and goodness, assuring believers that he orchestrates everything for their ultimate benefit. It reassures them that even in difficult circumstances, God is at work, bringing about good. This promise encourages them to trust in his plans, fostering a spirit of hope and resilience. It invites them to see challenges as part of a greater purpose, knowing that God is shaping their lives according to his divine will. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of the knowledge and fear of the Lord. This premise highlights the empowering presence of the Holy Spirit in believers' lives. It reassures them that they have access to divine wisdom and strength through the Spirit. This promise encourages them to seek the Holy Spirit's guidance, fostering a spirit of reliance and openness. It invites them to walk in the fullness of the Spirit, knowing that His presence equips them to navigate life with insight, power, and reverence for God. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. This premise assures believers that their earnest pursuit of God will lead to a genuine encounter with him. It reassures them that God is not distant or indifferent. Rather, he longs for a close relationship with them. This promise encourages them to dedicate themselves to seeking God wholeheartedly, fostering a spirit of passion and commitment. It invites them to discover the depths of his love and presence knowing that when they seek him sincerely, they will find him waiting with open arms. I have come that they may have life, and have it to the full. This premise speaks to the abundant life Jesus offers. It reassures believers that following him leads to a life rich with purpose and joy. This promise encourages them to embrace the fullness of life in Christ, fostering a spirit of adventure and exploration. It invites them to live fully and freely knowing that Jesus desires for them to experience the depths of his grace and the richness of his love. He who began a good work and you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. This premise emphasizes God's faithfulness in the believer's journey. It reassures them that God is actively working in their lives, shaping them into the image of Christ. This promise encourages them to trust in God's ongoing work, fostering a spirit of patience and hope. It invites them to rest in the assurance that God will bring their spiritual growth to fruition, empowering them to become who he has called them to be. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. This premise provides comfort in times of distress, assuring believers that God is always available to help. It reassures them that they can turn to him for strength and support during difficult times. This promise encourages them to seek God as their refuge, fostering a spirit of trust and reliance. 
It invites them to lean on him in times of need, knowing that he is a constant source of strength and comfort. In this world you will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. This premise acknowledges the reality of suffering and challenges in life, yet it offers hope through Christ's victory. It reassures believers that they can face difficulties with courage, knowing that Jesus has already triumphed over the world. This promise encourages them to stand firm in their faith, fostering a spirit of resilience and determination. It invites them to embrace the victory of Christ, understanding that his triumph empowers them to navigate their struggles with confidence. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. This premise reassures believers of God's constant presence and support. It emphasizes that they need not fear because God is by their side, providing strength and guidance. This promise encourages them to find comfort in his unwavering presence, fostering a spirit of courage and assurance. It invites them to walk boldly through life's uncertainties, knowing that God is with them every step of the way. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. This premise reveals God's intentions for his people, assuring them that his plans are good and full of hope. It reassures believers that they can trust God's guidance and provision for their lives. This promise encourages them to look forward with anticipation, fostering a spirit of optimism and faith. It invites them to embrace a future with confidence, knowing that God's plans for them lead to flourishing and fulfillment. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings, you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. This premise portrays God's protective nature, likening his care to a mother bird sheltering her young. It reassures believers that they can find safety and security under God's watchful eye. This promise encourages them to take refuge in God's presence, fostering a spirit of comfort and peace. It invites them to rest in his faithfulness, knowing that he is their protector and defender in every situation. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. This premise emphasizes the power of prayer and the authority believers have in Jesus' name. It reassures them that their requests, made in faith, are heard and responded to by God. This promise encourages them to pray boldly, fostering a spirit of confidence and expectancy. It invites them to approach God with their desires and needs, knowing that he delights in answering their prayers according to his will. No weapon forged against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This premise assures believers of God's protection against adversities and accusations. It reassures them that they are safeguarded from harm and falsehood. This promise encourages them to stand firm in their faith, fostering a spirit of strength and confidence. It invites them to trust in God's defense, knowing that he will vindicate them and ensure their victory over opposition. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you. This premise reveals God's nurturing and compassionate nature, assuring believers of his deep care. It reassures them that they can find solace and comfort in God, just as a child finds comfort in a mother's embrace. This promise encourages them to seek God's comfort in times of sorrow, fostering a spirit of trust and healing. It invites them to experience his tender care, knowing that he is there to support and nurture them through every hardship. You are precious and honored in my sight, and I love you. This premise emphasizes the inherent value and worth that God places on each believer. It reassures them that they are cherished and loved by God, creating a strong sense of identity and belonging. This promise encourages them to embrace their value in God's eyes, fostering a spirit of self-acceptance and confidence. It invites them to live out of that love, knowing that they are deeply treasured and honored by their Creator. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. This premise provides powerful reassurance of God's unbreakable love. 
It reassures believers that no matter what they face, whether challenges in life or even death, they are forever bound to God's love. This promise encourages them to find security in their relationship with Christ, fostering a spirit of hope and courage. It invites them to rest in the assurance that nothing can sever their connection to God's love, which is a constant source of strength and encouragement. You will be my people, and I will be your God. This premise establishes a covenant relationship between God and his people, assuring believers of his commitment. It reassures them that they are chosen and valued by God. This promise encourages them to embrace their identity as God's people, fostering a spirit of belonging and purpose. It invites them to live in the fullness of that relationship, knowing that God's presence is with them, guiding and loving them every step of the way. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. This premise highlights God's abundant provision for his people. It reassures believers that he is aware of their needs and will provide out of his immense riches. This promise encourages them to trust in God's generous nature, fostering a spirit of gratitude and dependence. It invites them to approach God with confidence, knowing that he is not only capable but also willing to meet their every need through his glory in Christ Jesus. This assurance inspires believers to rest in God's sufficiency trusting that he will supply all that is necessary for their physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. This premise encapsulates the core of the gospel, God's profound love for humanity, demonstrated through the sacrifice of his Son. It reassures believers that salvation and eternal life are available to all who put their faith in Jesus. This promise encourages them to share the good news of salvation, fostering a spirit of evangelism and compassion for others. It invites them to embrace their faith fully, knowing that through belief in Christ, they enter into a loving relationship with God that transcends death. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. This premise emphasizes the believer's role in reflecting God's light in the world. It reassures them that their lives have purpose and visibility, encouraging them to shine brightly for others to see. This promise inspires believers to live authentically and boldly, fostering a spirit of witness and influence in their communities. It invites them to embrace their identity as lights in a dark world, knowing that their actions can lead others to the truth of God's love. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. This premise reassures believers of God's presence during times of trial and tribulation. It emphasizes that no matter how overwhelming life's challenges may seem, God will protect and sustain them. This promise encourages them to face adversity with faith, fostering a spirit of courage and perseverance. It invites them to trust in God's unwavering support, knowing that he walks with them through every difficulty, providing safety and strength. For the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you. This premise emphasizes the unchanging nature of God's love, assuring believers that it is a constant presence in their lives. It reassures them that no matter what upheavals occur in the world around them, God's love remains firm and steadfast. This promise encourages them to anchor their hearts in this truth, fostering a spirit of security and stability. It invites them to experience the depth of God's love, knowing that it is a reliable foundation amidst the uncertainties of life. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. This premise highlights God's guidance and care for his people. It reassures believers that God is actively involved in their lives, providing direction and wisdom. This promise encourages them to seek his counsel and their decisions, fostering a spirit of openness and receptivity. It invites them to trust in God's guidance, knowing that he lovingly watches over them, leading them on the path that aligns with his purpose. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. This premise assures believers that their pursuit of God will lead to a deeper relationship with him. 
It reassures them that as they take steps toward God, he responds by drawing closer to them. This promise encourages them to cultivate intimacy with God through prayer and devotion, fostering a spirit of yearning and dedication. It invites them to experience the joy of closeness with God, knowing that he is always eager to connect with those who seek him sincerely. You will find rest for your souls. This promise offers solace to those weary from life's burdens. It reassures believers that in Christ, they can discover true rest and peace. This promise encourages them to come to Jesus with their struggles, fostering a spirit of surrender and trust. It invites them to experience the refreshment that comes from resting in his presence, knowing that he offers relief from anxiety and weariness. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. This premise portrays God as a caring shepherd who provides for his flock. It reassures believers that they lack nothing when they trust in his guidance. This promise encourages them to rely on God's provision and care, fostering a spirit of contentment and gratitude. It invites them to find peace in knowing that God watches over them, leading them to green pastures and still waters, ensuring their needs are met. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. This premise highlights the transformative work of the Holy Spirit in the lives of believers. It reassures them that as they walk in the Spirit, they will bear a fruit that reflects God's character. This promise encourages them to cultivate these qualities in their lives, fostering a spirit of growth and maturity. It invites them to allow the Holy Spirit to shape their hearts, knowing that this fruit is evidence of God's presence and work within them. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. This premise emphasizes God's protection and blessings for those who live righteously. It reassures believers that God's goodness is extended to them, providing both favor and honor. This promise encourages them to pursue a life that reflects God's character, fostering a spirit of integrity and righteousness. It invites them to trust that God will provide all that is good and necessary for their lives as they walk in alignment with his will. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. This premise offers comfort in times of uncertainty and fear. It reassures believers that they do not have to succumb to anxiety, as Jesus provides peace in the midst of chaos. This promise encourages them to focus on Christ's presence rather than their circumstances fostering a spirit of faith and hope. It invites them to embrace tranquility, knowing that Jesus is their source of comfort and courage. I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. This premise serves as a reminder of God's faithfulness and commitment to his creation. It reassures believers that God keeps his promises, using the rainbow as a symbol of his covenant with humanity. This promise encourages them to remember God's grace and mercy, fostering a spirit of hope and assurance. It invites them to live in the light of God's faithfulness, trusting that he remains true to his word throughout all generations. If God is for us, who can be against us? This premise emphasizes the believer's security and God's support. It reassures them that with God on their side, they need not fear opposition or challenges. This promise encourages them to stand firm in their faith, fostering a spirit of courage and confidence. It invites them to trust in God's power and protection, knowing that he fights for them and secures their victory in every battle. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. This premise paints a picture of God's love and delight in his people. It reassures believers that they are cherished and celebrated by God, who fights for their salvation. This promise encourages them to embrace their identity as beloved children of God, fostering a spirit of joy and confidence. It invites them to revel in God's love, knowing that he rejoices over them, singing songs of joy and salvation. Do not be afraid little flock, 
for your father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. This premise assures believers of their inheritance in God's kingdom. It reassures them that they need not fear or doubt, for God is generous in sharing his blessings. This promise encourages them to live with the confidence that they are heirs to God's kingdom, fostering a spirit of hope and purpose. It invites them to embrace their identity as part of God's family, knowing that they are recipients of his abundant grace and love. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. This premise speaks to the reality of sorrow and loss, assuring believers that God is present in their grief. It reassures them that mourning is not in vain, as God promises comfort to those who are hurting. This promise encourages them to express their emotions and lean into God's comfort, fostering a spirit of healing and hope. It invites them to trust that God will meet them in their pain, providing solace and restoration in times of mourning. You are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession. This premise affirms the identity and purpose of believers as God's chosen people. It reassures them of their value and calling in God's plan. This promise encourages them to embrace their identity as a royal priesthood, fostering a spirit of service and commitment. It invites them to live out their calling as representatives of God's kingdom, knowing that they are set apart for his purposes and glory. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. This premise offers hope for the future, assuring believers that God will bring ultimate restoration and healing. It reassures them that pain and suffering are temporary, as God will one day make all things new. This promise encourages them to hold on to hope in the midst of trials, fostering a spirit of anticipation and joy. It invites them to look forward to the day when God will wipe away every tear, promising a future free from sorrow, mourning, and pain. This assurance reminds them that God's redemptive plan encompasses the entirety of creation, leading to a glorious conclusion where his perfect love and justice reign. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. This premise invites those who feel overwhelmed and exhausted to find refuge in Jesus. It reassures them that they are not alone in their struggles, and that Jesus offers rest for their souls. This promise encourages them to lay down their burdens and receive his peace, fostering a spirit of surrender and trust. It invites them to approach Jesus with their weariness, knowing that he welcomes them and provides the comfort and relief they need. I will never leave you nor forsake you. This premise emphasizes God's unwavering presence in the lives of his people. It reassures believers that they are never abandoned or forgotten, regardless of their circumstances. This promise encourages them to lean on God's faithfulness, fostering a spirit of assurance and security. It invites them to find comfort in his constant companionship, knowing that he walks with them through every season of life. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. This premise speaks to God's compassionate nature and his desire to heal the hurting. It reassures believers that God is attentive to their pain and suffering, offering restoration and hope. This promise encourages them to bring their brokenness to God, fostering a spirit of vulnerability and trust. It invites them to experience his healing touch, knowing that God cares deeply for their emotional and spiritual well-being. You will be secure because there is hope. You will look about you and take your rest in safety. This premise assures believers of the security that comes from trusting in God. It reassures them that hope is a firm foundation, allowing them to rest safely in his care. This promise encourages them to cultivate a hopeful outlook, fostering a spirit of peace and confidence. It invites them to experience the tranquility that comes from knowing they are held securely in God's loving arms. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. This premise encourages believers to embrace strength and courage in the face of fear. It reassures them that God's presence is constant and unwavering, empowering them to move forward with confidence. 
This promise fosters a spirit of bravery and resilience, inviting them to step out in faith, knowing that God goes before them and accompanies them every step of the way. There is now fear and love, but perfect love drives out fear. This promise speaks to the transformative power of God's love, which dispels fear and anxiety. It reassures believers that as they encounter God's perfect love, they can experience freedom from fear. This promise encourages them to embrace love as their guiding principle, fostering a spirit of courage and openness. It invites them to rest in the assurance that God's love is greater than any fear they may face. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. This premise emphasizes the sovereignty of Christ over all creation. It reassures believers that Jesus is the foundation of everything, holding all things together. This promise encourages them to place their trust in him, fostering a spirit of reliance and stability. It invites them to recognize the majesty and authority of Christ, knowing that in him, they find purpose and coherence in their lives. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God, and they will be my people. This premise speaks to the intimacy of the new covenant God establishes with his people. It reassures believers that God desires a close relationship, one marked by internal transformation and connection. This promise encourages them to cultivate a heart aligned with God's desires, fostering a spirit of obedience and love. It invites them to live out their faith authentically, knowing that God's law is not just external, but deeply ingrained within them. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights. This premise emphasizes the generosity of God as the giver of every good gift. It reassures believers that all blessings come from his loving hand. This promise encourages them to cultivate gratitude, fostering a spirit of thankfulness and appreciation. It invites them to recognize God's goodness in their lives, knowing that he delights in blessing his children abundantly. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. This premise encourages believers to be attentive to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. It reassures them that the Spirit speaks wisdom and truth to those who are willing to listen. This promise fosters a spirit of discernment and openness, inviting them to seek the Spirit's leading in their lives. It reminds them of the importance of spiritual growth and responsiveness to God's voice. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. This premise emphasizes the understanding and empathy of Jesus as their high priest. It reassures believers that Jesus knows their struggles and is compassionate toward their weaknesses. This promise encourages them to approach him with confidence in prayer, fostering a spirit of vulnerability and trust. It invites them to lean on Jesus for strength, knowing that he has experienced their trials and offers grace and mercy in their times of need. And we are certain that God, who began the good work within you, will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. This premise reassures believers of God's ongoing work in their lives. It emphasizes his faithfulness to complete the transformation he has initiated. This promise encourages them to remain hopeful and steadfast in their spiritual journey, fostering a spirit of perseverance and trust. It invites them to anticipate the fulfillment of God's promises, knowing that he will bring them to completion at the return of Christ. You are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, so that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. This premise affirms the calling of believers to be witnesses of God's truth. It reassures them that they are chosen for a purpose, to share the message of his love and faithfulness. This promise encourages them to boldly declare their faith, fostering a spirit of evangelism and testimony. It invites them to recognize the importance of their role in God's plan, knowing that they carry the message of hope to a world in need. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and that in the end, he will stand on the earth. This premise emphasizes the living hope found in Jesus, the Redeemer. It reassures believers of Christ's victory over sin and death. 
This promise encourages them to hold on to their faith in Christ's resurrection, fostering a spirit of hope and assurance. It invites them to look forward to the day when all things will be made new, knowing that their Redeemer is alive and will ultimately triumph. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. This premise encourages believers to maintain their steadfast hope in God's promises. It reassures them that God is faithful to fulfill what he has spoken. This promise fosters a spirit of determination and resilience, inviting them to trust in God's faithfulness despite life's challenges. It encourages them to gather strength from their hope, knowing that their faith is built on the unwavering character of God. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. This premise underscores God's commitment to providing for his people. It reassures believers that God is attentive to their needs and capable of meeting them abundantly. This promise encourages them to approach God with confidence in prayer, fostering a spirit of dependence and trust. It invites them to experience the richness of God's provision, knowing that he delights in blessing his children according to his glorious abundance. You are the salt of the earth. This premise emphasizes the influence believers have in the world. It reassures them of their role in preserving and enhancing the moral fabric of society. This promise encourages them to live out their faith authentically, fostering a spirit of witness and impact. It invites them to embrace their calling to be agents of change, knowing that their presence and actions can bring about transformation and hope in the world. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one. This premise emphasizes the unity that believers share in Christ. It reassures them of their belonging to the body of Christ and the glory bestowed upon them. This promise encourages them to pursue unity and love within the church, fostering a spirit of harmony and cooperation. It invites them to celebrate their identity as part of Christ's family, knowing that their unity reflects the relationship between the Father and the Son. The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. This premise affirms God's power and willingness to save his people. It reassures believers that they can rely on God as their defender and savior. This promise encourages them to trust in God's strength, fostering a spirit of courage and hope. It invites them to rest in the assurance that God fights on their behalf, bringing salvation and victory in every battle they face. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. This premise speaks to the transformative work of salvation in the lives of believers. It reassures them that through faith in Christ, they are made new, shedding their old selves and stepping into a new identity. This promise encourages them to embrace their new life in Christ, fostering a spirit of renewal and hope. It invites them to live in the light of this transformation, knowing that they have been redeemed and empowered to live according to God's purposes. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. This premise emphasizes God's role as a protector and source of strength in times of distress. It reassures believers that they can find refuge in Him during life's storms. This promise encourages them to turn to God in their moments of need, fostering a spirit of trust and reliance. It invites them to experience the comfort and strength that comes from knowing God is always with them, ready to assist and sustain them in their struggles. The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. This premise highlights the mission of Jesus and, by extension, the mission of his followers. It reassures believers of their calling to share the good news with those in need. This promise encourages them to engage in acts of compassion and service, fostering a spirit of outreach and evangelism. It invites them to carry forth the message of hope and salvation, knowing that they are empowered by the Holy Spirit to make a difference in the world. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. This premise assures believers that earnest seeking of God will lead to a personal encounter with him. It reassures them that their efforts to connect with God will not be in vain. This promise encourages them to pursue a deeper relationship with God, 
fostering a spirit of diligence and commitment. It invites them to come before God with sincerity and passion, knowing that he longs to be found by those who seek him wholeheartedly. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. This premise emphasizes the personal nature of God's relationship with his people. It reassures believers that they are valued and cherished, having been called by name and redeemed by God. This promise encourages them to embrace their identity as God's beloved children, fostering a spirit of belonging and security. It invites them to rest in the assurance that they are never alone, as God claims them as his own. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. This premise underscores the importance of recognizing God's guidance in every aspect of life. It reassures believers that as they seek God's wisdom, he will direct their paths. This promise encourages them to consult God in their decisions, fostering a spirit of humility and dependence. It invites them to trust in God's guidance, knowing that he's committed to leading them along the right path for their lives. No weapon forged against you will prevail and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This premise emphasizes God's protection over his people against adversity and accusation. It reassures believers that they can stand firm, knowing that God defends them. This promise encourages them to remain confident in their identity in Christ, fostering a spirit of resilience and strength. It invites them to trust in God's ability to safeguard them against harm assuring them that they are victorious through his power. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This premise affirms the strength and empowerment believers receive from Christ. It reassures them that they can face challenges and accomplish tasks through his enabling grace. This promise encourages them to step out in faith and confidence, fostering a spirit of determination and courage. It invites them to rely on Christ's strength in their endeavors, knowing that he equips them to overcome obstacles and fulfill their God-given purpose. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. This premise encourages believers to rest in God's sovereignty during times of conflict. It reassures them that they do not have to strive in their own strength, as God is actively fighting on their behalf. This promise fosters a spirit of peace and trust inviting them to surrender their worries and anxieties to God. It reminds them of the importance of stillness and waiting upon the Lord, knowing that He is working for their good. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. This premise highlights the guidance provided by God's word. It reassures believers that scripture offers wisdom and clarity in navigating life's journey. This promise encourages them to engage with the Bible regularly fostering a spirit of learning and growth. It invites them to rely on the truths found in God's word, knowing that it illuminates their path and helps them make wise decisions. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. This premise emphasizes God's compassion and concern for his people's well-being. It reassures believers that they can bring their worries and anxieties to God, who is eager to bear their burdens. This promise encourages them to practice casting their cares on God, fostering a spirit of trust and surrender. It invites them to experience the peace that comes from knowing they are cared for and supported by their Heavenly Father. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. This premise emphasizes the revitalizing power of hope in God. It reassures believers that placing their hope in the Lord will result in renewed strength and endurance. This promise encourages them to keep their focus on God amidst challenges, fostering a spirit of perseverance and faith. It invites them to experience the uplifting and empowering effects of trusting in God, knowing that He enables them to rise above their circumstances. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. This premise reassures believers of God's nearness to those who are hurting and in despair. It emphasizes his compassion and willingness to bring healing and salvation to the brokenhearted. This promise encourages them to approach God in their pain, fostering a spirit of vulnerability and openness.
It invites them to find comfort in knowing that God is intimately aware of their struggles and desires to bring restoration to their lives. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. This premise emphasizes God's good intentions for his people. It reassures believers that God has a purpose and plan for their lives, filled with hope and a bright future. This promise encourages them to trust in God's timing and sovereignty, fostering a spirit of anticipation and faith. It invites them to lean into God's plans, knowing that they are designed for their ultimate good and His glory. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. This premise emphasizes God's blessing and favor upon His people. It reassures believers that they are under God's watchful care and grace. This promise encourages them to embrace God's blessings, fostering a spirit of gratitude and appreciation. It invites them to live in the light of God's favor, knowing that He delights in them and desires to shower them with His grace. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed. Perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. This premise emphasizes the resilience of believers in the face of adversity. It reassures them that while they may face challenges, they are not defeated. This promise encourages them to stand firm in their faith, fostering a spirit of hope and perseverance. It invites them to recognize the strength they have in Christ, knowing that He sustains them through every trial and tribulation. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. This premise speaks to the transformative work of God in the lives of believers. It reassures them that God can change their hearts and give them a spirit that is receptive to his leading. This promise encourages them to embrace the new life offered through Christ, fostering a spirit of openness and growth. It invites them to allow God to mold their hearts, knowing that he desires to fill them with love, compassion, and understanding. The joy of the Lord is your strength. This premise emphasizes the empowering nature of joy that comes from a relationship with God. It reassures believers that true joy, rooted in God's presence, provides strength and resilience in difficult times. This promise encourages them to seek joy in the Lord, fostering a spirit of gratitude and celebration. It invites them to experience the profound strength that comes from rejoicing in God, knowing that His joy uplifts and sustains them. The Lord your God is with you, He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. In His love, He will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. This premise underscores God's commitment to His people, emphasizing His might and delight in them. It reassures believers that they are cherished and celebrated by God. This promise encourages them to recognize the joy God has in their lives, fostering a spirit of gratitude and confidence. It invites them to embrace their identity as beloved children of God, knowing that He rejoices over them with love and celebration. You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. This premise speaks to the refuge found in God during times of trouble. It reassures believers that they can find safety and protection in Him. This promise encourages them to seek God as their hiding place, fostering a spirit of trust and reliance. It invites them to find comfort in knowing that God surrounds them with His presence, offering songs of deliverance and hope amid their challenges. You will be a crown of splendor in the Lord's hand, a royal diadem in the hand of your God. This premise emphasizes the dignity and value bestowed upon believers by God. It reassures them that they are precious and esteemed in His sight. This promise encourages them to embrace their identity as royal heirs in God's kingdom, fostering a spirit of confidence and purpose. It invites them to live in a manner that reflects their royal status, knowing that they are called to reflect God's glory in the world. For the mountains may depart and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you. This premise emphasizes the unchanging nature of God's love for His people. 
It reassures believers that even amidst the most dramatic changes, God's love remains constant and unwavering. This promise encourages them to hold fast to the assurance of his love, fostering a spirit of security and peace. It invites them to rest in the knowledge that God's love will never fail or abandon them, no matter the circumstances they face. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. This premise assures believers of God's presence during life's trials and challenges. It reassures them that they will not be overwhelmed, as God is always there to support and protect them. This promise encourages them to face their fears with confidence, fostering a spirit of bravery and resilience. It invites them to trust in God's faithfulness, knowing that He walks with them through every hardship, ensuring their safety and deliverance. You are my servant. I have chosen you and have not rejected you. This premise emphasizes God's choosing of believers for His purpose and plan. It reassures them that they are accepted and valued as His servants. This promise encourages them to embrace their calling and to serve faithfully, fostering a spirit of dedication and commitment. It invites them to recognize the significance of their role in God's kingdom, knowing that they have been set apart for His glory. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. This premise highlights God's provision and care for His people. It reassures believers that they lack nothing when they trust in God as their shepherd. This promise encourages them to rest in God's guidance and provision, fostering a spirit of contentment and peace. It invites them to follow Him closely, knowing that He leads them beside still waters and restores their souls. He who began a good work and you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. This premise emphasizes God's ongoing work in the lives of believers. It reassures them that their spiritual growth is a continuous process, guided by God's faithfulness. This promise encourages them to remain steadfast in their journey, fostering a spirit of hope and determination. It invites them to trust that God will complete the good work He has started in them, bringing them to maturity in faith. You are precious in my sight, and honored and I love you. This premise affirms the deep love and value God places on His people. It reassures believers that they are cherished and honored by God. This promise encourages them to embrace their worth as loved children of God, fostering a spirit of self-acceptance and joy. It invites them to reflect on God's love for them, knowing that they are precious in His sight. I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten. This premise speaks to God's ability to bring restoration and renewal to brokenness and loss. It reassures believers that no matter what they have endured, God can redeem their past and bring forth new life. This promise encourages them to have faith in God's restorative power, fostering a spirit of hope and expectancy. It invites them to trust in God's timing and ability to bring beauty from ashes, knowing that He can heal and restore what was lost. As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good. This premise emphasizes God's sovereignty in turning challenges and hardships into opportunities for good. It reassures believers that God can work through adversity to accomplish His purposes. This promise encourages them to see beyond their circumstances, fostering a spirit of faith and resilience. It invites them to trust in God's plan knowing that even the trials they face can be used for His glory and their ultimate good. I will be your God throughout your lifetime, until your hair is white with age. I made you, and I will care for you. This premise emphasizes God's lifelong commitment to His people. It reassures believers that God is faithful and present from the beginning to the end of their lives. This promise encourages them to rely on God's care and provision fostering a spirit of trust and assurance. It invites them to rest in the knowledge that God will be with them through every season of life, providing guidance and support until the very end. In the day of trouble, I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. This premise emphasizes God's promise of deliverance in times of distress. It reassures believers that God is their source of rescue and salvation. This promise encourages them to call upon God in their troubles, 
fostering a spirit of dependence and faith. It invites them to anticipate his deliverance, knowing that through their trials, they have the opportunity to glorify him and testify to his goodness. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. This premise emphasizes Jesus' invitation to find solace in him. It reassures believers that they can bring their burdens and find rest for their souls. This promise encourages them to seek comfort in Christ during stressful times, fostering a spirit of surrender and peace. It invites them to come as they are, knowing that Jesus welcomes them and provides the rest they seek. I will never forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. This premise emphasizes the deep connection and remembrance God has for his people. It reassures believers that they are always on God's mind and heart. This promise encourages them to find comfort in God's unfailing love, fostering a spirit of security and belonging. It invites them to recognize the personal nature of their relationship with God, knowing that they are etched into his very being. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. This premise emphasizes the purpose and design God has for each believer. It reassures them that they are uniquely created with a specific calling and purpose in life. This promise encourages them to step into the good works God has prepared for them, fostering a spirit of enthusiasm and purpose. It invites them to recognize their identity as God's workmanship, empowered to fulfill his plans and bring about his kingdom on earth. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. This premise emphasizes the abundant life Jesus offers to his followers. It reassures believers that they can experience fullness of life in relationship with him. This promise encourages them to embrace the joy and richness of life found in Christ, fostering a spirit of gratitude and celebration. It invites them to explore the depth of life that Jesus provides knowing that he desires for them to thrive in all aspects of their existence. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. This premise emphasizes God's commitment to fulfilling his plans for each believer. It reassures them that God's purpose for their lives is secure and steadfast. This promise encourages them to trust in God's faithfulness, fostering a spirit of confidence and assurance. It invites them to rest in the knowledge that God's love and purpose will prevail, guiding them toward their ultimate destiny in Him. He who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. This premise emphasizes the strength and power of the Holy Spirit within believers. It reassures them that they have access to divine strength that overcomes the challenges of the world. This promise encourages them to stand firm in their faith, fostering a spirit of courage and boldness. It invites them to rely on the greater power of God within them, knowing that they can overcome any obstacles they face. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. This premise emphasizes Jesus' commitment to his followers, assuring them of his ongoing presence. It reassures believers that they are never alone. Jesus is always with them, providing comfort and guidance. This promise encourages them to cultivate their relationship with Christ, fostering a spirit of intimacy and connection. It invites them to find solace in knowing that Jesus cares for them deeply and promises to be present in their lives. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and he helps me. This premise emphasizes God's role as a source of strength and protection for his people. It reassures believers that they can trust in God to be their defender and helper. This promise encourages them to lean on God for support, fostering a spirit of reliance and faith. It invites them to experience the peace that comes from trusting in God's strength, knowing that he is always ready to help in times of need. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. This premise encourages believers to place their full trust in God rather than relying on their limited understanding. It reassures them that God's wisdom far exceeds their own. This promise encourages them to surrender their worries and seek God's guidance in all areas of their lives, fostering a spirit of humility and dependence. 
It invites them to acknowledge God in their decisions, trusting that he will direct their paths and provide clarity in moments of uncertainty. I will give you heart of flesh and remove from you your heart of stone. This premise emphasizes the transformative power of God to soften hearts and renew minds. It reassures believers that God can replace hard-heartedness with compassion and understanding. This promise encourages them to be open to God's work in their lives, fostering a spirit of receptiveness and change. It invites them to allow God to mold their hearts to reflect His love and grace, enabling them to relate to others with kindness and empathy. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore I have continued my faithfulness to you. This premise underscores the enduring nature of God's love for His people. It reassures believers that God's love is not fleeting but everlasting. This promise encourages them to remain steadfast in their faith, fostering a spirit of gratitude and commitment. It invites them to respond to God's unchanging love with devotion, knowing that He is always faithful and true to His promises. When you seek me, you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. This premise emphasizes the relational aspect of seeking God. It reassures believers that they can experience God's presence and guidance when they earnestly pursue Him. This promise encourages them to cultivate a deep relationship with God, fostering a spirit of sincerity and passion. It invites them to prioritize their spiritual journey, knowing that God desires to be known and will reveal Himself to those who seek Him wholeheartedly. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This premise emphasizes the profound peace that comes from a relationship with God. It reassures believers that, even in the midst of chaos, they can experience a peace that transcends human comprehension. This promise encourages them to turn to God in prayer and supplication, fostering a spirit of trust and reliance. It invites them to allow God's peace to protect their hearts and minds knowing that he is in control and cares for their well-being. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. This premise highlights the sufficiency of God's grace in the lives of believers. It reassures them that, in their weakness, God's power shines through. This promise encourages them to embrace their limitations and depend on God's strength, fostering a spirit of humility and surrender. It invites them to acknowledge their need for God's grace, knowing that His strength is made perfect in their weaknesses, enabling them to fulfill His purposes. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. This premise emphasizes God's commitment to providing guidance and wisdom to His people. It reassures believers that they can trust in God's counsel and direction for their lives. This promise encourages them to seek God's instruction in all decisions, fostering a spirit of dependence and trust. It invites them to rest in the assurance that God's loving eye is upon them, guiding them along the right path. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. This promise affirms the call of believers to be a source of light and hope in the world. It reassures them of their significant role in reflecting God's love and truth. This promise encourages them to let their light shine brightly, fostering a spirit of boldness and influence. It invites them to engage actively in their communities, knowing that their actions can inspire and uplift others, bringing glory to God. I will not abandon you or forsake you. This promise emphasizes God's unwavering presence and commitment to His people. It reassures believers that they are never left alone, even in the darkest times. This promise encourages them to lean on God for support and strength, fostering a spirit of security and trust. It invites them to find comfort in the knowledge that God will always be by their side, providing the love and guidance they need. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. This promise encourages believers to find peace in Christ amid fear and uncertainty. It reassures them that they can cast their anxieties onto Him, who cares for them deeply. This promise encourages them to place their trust in God, fostering a spirit of calmness and assurance. 
It invites them to rest in the knowledge that God is sovereign and in control, alleviating their fears and concerns. You are my chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession. This premise emphasizes the identity and value believers hold in God's eyes. It reassures them that they have been chosen and set apart for his purpose. This promise encourages them to embrace their calling, fostering a spirit of pride and responsibility. It invites them to live as representatives of God's kingdom, knowing they are honored and valued as his special possession. If God is for us, who can be against us? This premise underscores the assurance believers have in God's support and favor. It reassures them that, with God on their side, they can face any challenge or opposition. This promise encourages them to remain steadfast in their faith, fostering a spirit of courage and determination. It invites them to trust in God's protection and provision, knowing that He is their ultimate defender. I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. This premise emphasizes God's faithfulness to His promises and covenants. It reassures believers that God is committed to his creation and will uphold his word. This promise encourages them to remember the signs of God's faithfulness, fostering a spirit of gratitude and hope. It invites them to recognize the beauty of God's creation as a reminder of his everlasting promises. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things. This premise highlights the worthiness of God to receive praise and glory. It reassures believers of God's sovereignty as the creator of all things. This promise encourages them to worship God with their lives, fostering a spirit of reverence and awe. It invites them to acknowledge God's greatness in every aspect of their lives, knowing that He is deserving of all honor and praise. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. This premise emphasizes God's compassion for those who are grieving and hurting. It reassures believers that God offers comfort and healing in their pain. This promise encourages them to bring their sorrow to God, fostering a spirit of openness and vulnerability. It invites them to trust in God's promise of comfort, knowing that He walks with them through their darkest moments. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. This premise emphasizes the joy that comes from knowing God and following His ways. It reassures believers that God reveals the path of life to them. This promise encourages them to pursue a relationship with God, fostering a spirit of delight and gratitude. It invites them to experience the fullness of joy that comes from being in God's presence, knowing that He brings life and vitality to their spirits. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. This premise reiterates God's good intentions for his people. It reassures believers that God has a specific plan for their lives, filled with hope in the future. This promise encourages them to trust in God's guidance, fostering a spirit of expectancy and faith. It invites them to embrace the future with confidence, knowing that God is working for their good. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say, rejoice. This premise emphasizes the importance of joy and gratitude in the believer's life. It reassures them that joy can be found in all circumstances through a relationship with God. This promise encourages them to maintain a joyful attitude, fostering a spirit of celebration and praise. It invites them to express their rejoicing knowing that God is deserving of their gratitude and praise. Your faithfulness continues through all generations. This premise underscores God's unwavering faithfulness throughout history. It reassures believers that they can trust in God's promises, as He remains constant and true. This promise encourages them to build their faith on the foundation of God's faithfulness fostering a spirit of stability and assurance. It invites them to reflect on the generations of believers who have experienced God's faithfulness, knowing that He will continue to be faithful to them. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? 
to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. This premise emphasizes the call to live righteously and justly. It reassures believers that God has provided clear guidance on how to live a life that pleases Him. This promise encourages them to pursue justice, mercy, and humility in their daily lives, fostering a spirit of compassion and integrity. It invites them to reflect the character of God in their actions, knowing that they are called to make a positive impact in the world. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth, do you not perceive it? This premise highlights God's ability to bring about new beginnings and transformations. It reassures believers that God is actively working in their lives to create something fresh and new. This promise encourages them to be open to change, fostering a spirit of anticipation and excitement. It invites them to recognize the signs of God's work in their lives, encouraging them to embrace the new opportunities and growth that He provides. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. This premise emphasizes the importance of staying connected to Jesus as the source of life and productivity. It reassures believers that their spiritual vitality and fruitfulness depend on their relationship with Christ. This promise encourages them to cultivate their connection with Jesus, fostering a spirit of dependence and growth. It invites them to abide in Him, knowing that through this connection, they can accomplish great things for His kingdom. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. This premise underscores God's compassion for those who are suffering and in pain. It reassures believers that they can find solace in God during their most challenging moments. This promise encourages them to bring their brokenness to God, fostering a spirit of vulnerability and trust. It invites them to experience God's nearness and comfort knowing that He cares deeply for their hearts and souls. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This premise highlights God's ability to provide and create paths even in seemingly impossible situations. It reassures believers that God can bring refreshment and guidance and the trust in most challenging times. This promise encourages them to trust in God's provision, fostering a spirit of hope and expectation. It invites them to look for God's work in their lives, knowing that He is capable of bringing forth life and direction even in the most barren places. For God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and self-discipline. This premise emphasizes the empowering nature of the Holy Spirit. It reassures believers that they are equipped with strength, love, and self-control to face challenges. This promise encourages them to overcome fear and anxiety, fostering a spirit of courage and confidence. It invites them to step out boldly in faith, knowing that God has given them everything they need to live a victorious life. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. This promise highlights the relational aspect of seeking God. It reassures believers that they can experience God's presence and guidance when they pursue Him sincerely. This promise encourages them to engage deeply in their spiritual journey, fostering a spirit of passion and devotion. It invites them to invest in their relationship with God, knowing that He desires to be found and to reveal Himself to those who earnestly seek Him. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. This premise emphasizes God's sovereignty over time and all of creation. It reassures believers that God is in control of every aspect of their lives from start to finish. This promise encourages them to trust in God's overarching plan, fostering a spirit of peace and assurance. It invites them to recognize that their lives are part of God's grand narrative, knowing that He is faithful to fulfill His promises. Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. This premise emphasizes God's desire for believers to bring their worries and concerns to Him. It reassures them that God genuinely cares about their struggles and anxieties. This promise encourages them to release their burdens to God, fostering a spirit of trust and relief. It invites them to experience the freedom that comes from handing over their worries to God, knowing that He is more than capable of carrying their burdens. I am with you always. 
to the very end of the age. This premise emphasizes Jesus' everlasting presence with his followers. It reassures believers that they are never alone in their journey of faith. This promise encourages them to rely on Jesus' companionship, fostering a spirit of comfort and assurance. It invites them to remember that Jesus is with them in every situation, providing strength, guidance, and encouragement throughout their lives. For you are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you lead me and guide me. This premise emphasizes God as a source of strength and security for believers. It reassures them that they can depend on God for protection and guidance in their lives. This promise encourages them to seek refuge in God, fostering a spirit of reliance and trust. It invites them to experience God's steadfastness as their rock and fortress, knowing that he leads them in paths of righteousness. I will sing to the Lord, for he has been good to me. This premise emphasizes the importance of gratitude and praise in the believer's life. It reassures them that God's goodness is a cause for celebration and worship. This promise encourages them to express their thanks to God, fostering a spirit of joy and appreciation. It invites them to reflect on God's blessings and faithfulness, knowing that singing and rejoicing are appropriate responses to His goodness. I will pour out my spirit on all people. This premise emphasizes the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in the lives of believers. It reassures them that God desires to fill them with His Spirit, empowering them for service and ministry. This promise encourages them to be open to the Holy Spirit's leading, fostering a spirit of receptiveness and engagement. It invites them to actively seek the Spirit's presence and guidance in their lives, knowing that the Holy Spirit equips and empowers them for God's purposes. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings, you will find refuge. This premise underscores God's protective nature and care for his people. It reassures believers that they can find safety and comfort in God's presence. This promise encourages them to seek refuge in God during times of trouble, fostering a spirit of trust and security. It invites them to rest in the assurance that God is their protector providing shelter and safety under his wings. I have chosen you out of the world. This premise emphasizes the special calling and selection of believers. It reassures them that they have been chosen by God for a specific purpose. This promise encourages them to embrace their identity as God's chosen people, fostering a spirit of confidence and purpose. It invites them to live in a way that reflects their calling, knowing that they are set apart for God's glory. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? This premise emphasizes God's role as a source of light and salvation. It reassures believers that they need not fear anything when God is on their side. This promise encourages them to walk in the confidence of God's presence, fostering a spirit of courage and assurance. It invites them to trust in God's power to illuminate their paths and deliver them from fear. I will bless you and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. This premise emphasizes God's intention to bless his people abundantly. It reassures believers that God desires to use them as vessels of blessing to others. This promise encourages them to embrace their role of being a blessing, fostering a spirit of generosity and compassion. It invites them to recognize that God's blessings are not only for their benefit, but also for the purpose of extending his love and grace to the world. For I will restore health to you, and your wounds I will heal, declares the Lord. This premise emphasizes God's ability to bring healing and restoration to his people. It reassures believers that God cares about their physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. This promise encourages them to seek God's healing, fostering a spirit of hope and trust. It invites them to approach God with their pain and brokenness, knowing that He is capable of bringing healing and restoration to their lives. When you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your Father, who is unseen. This promise highlights the importance of private prayer and communion with God. It reassures believers that God values their personal relationship with Him. This promise encourages them to prioritize prayer, fostering a spirit of intimacy and connection with God. 
It invites them to cultivate a vibrant prayer life, knowing that God hears their prayers and desires to respond. My people will live in peaceful dwelling places, in secure homes, in undisturbed places of rest. This premise emphasizes God's desire for his people to experience peace and security in their lives. It reassures believers that God provides safe and restful environments for them. This promise encourages them to seek God's peace, fostering a spirit of tranquility and assurance. It invites them to trust in God's provision for their safety and well-being, knowing that he desires to grant them rest. I will give you peace like a river, and the glory of the nations like an overflowing stream. This premise highlights the abundance of peace and blessing that God provides. It reassures believers that God's peace is expansive and overflowing. This promise encourages them to embrace the peace that God offers, fostering a spirit of contentment and fulfillment. It invites them to experience the fullness of God's blessings, knowing that He desires to fill their lives with joy and abundance. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. This premise emphasizes the personal nature of God's relationship with His people. It reassures believers of their identity as redeemed and cherished children of God. This promise encourages them to embrace their worth and identity in Christ, fostering a spirit of confidence and belonging. It invites them to rest in the knowledge that God knows them by name and has claimed them as his own. I will lead the blind by ways they have not known, along unfamiliar paths I will guide them. This premise highlights God's commitment to guiding his people even in uncertainty. It reassures believers that God is able to lead them through unfamiliar circumstances and challenges. This promise encourages them to trust in God's guidance, fostering a spirit of adventure and faith. It invites them to follow God's leading, even when the path is unclear, knowing that he will illuminate their way and provide the wisdom they need. You are my witnesses declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen. This premise emphasizes the role of believers as witnesses to God's goodness and faithfulness. It reassures them that they have been chosen to represent God and share his love with others. This promise encourages them to boldly share their testimonies, fostering a spirit of courage and purpose. It invites them to actively participate in God's mission, knowing that their lives can impact those around them. I will establish my covenant with you, and you will know that I am the Lord. This premise highlights God's faithfulness in establishing and maintaining his covenants with his people. It reassures believers of God's commitment to them and his desire for relationship. This promise encourages them to embrace the covenantal relationship with God, fostering a spirit of loyalty and faithfulness. It invites them to trust in God's promises knowing that he is always faithful to his word. You are my beloved, and I am yours. This premise emphasizes the deep love and intimacy that God has for his people. It reassures believers of their beloved status in God's eyes. This promise encourages them to live in the knowledge of God's love, fostering a spirit of acceptance and joy. It invites them to experience the fullness of God's affection knowing that they are cherished and valued by their Creator. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works. This premise underscores the intentionality behind each believer's creation and purpose. It reassures them that they have been uniquely designed for good works that God has prepared for them. This promise encourages them to pursue their calling with passion, fostering a spirit of diligence and purpose. It invites them to recognize their value as God's handiwork, knowing that they are meant to contribute positively to the world. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. This premise emphasizes the transformative power of God to change lives. It reassures believers that they can experience spiritual renewal and restoration. This promise encourages them to be open to God's work within them, fostering a spirit of hope and expectation. It invites them to allow God to create in them a clean heart, knowing that he desires to empower them for a new life in him.